Hello and welcome to our third zombie survivor run. In the current version, this is the mother of our run. You can see me replacing one little dice with one riot shield and it will make all the difference in the world. So I want to explain the build. Everything will be times two. At least 60% of you voted that for um, vampire survivors, I do double speed like this. So I'll apply the same thing for zombie survivors. Please let me know if you like it this way. I will not show you the whole run because it lasted a good four hours. I became immortal and I would one shot everything. It was absolutely insane. I sort of broke the game. The game is still being built. So let's not be too hard on that game. The developer is working super hard to balance things out. But I found a way. I have a competitor. Unfortunately, he's offline right now. I did not get his permission to name him. But I wanted to beat him uh, just for the fun of it. And as a challenge, you know, I like this game. And I had the best score. And all of a sudden, he beats me. But in the previous version, I used explosive build, as you saw in the previous video, if you watched the previous video. Very fun run. The whole run is there. Then he comes up and all he uses is gun, dice, and knockback. And beats me. But I knew that the boomerang was strong. It's just, I was a bit short on DPS. I also knew that defense worked. He was a pure glass cannon, played well, but at one point everybody's human, you would get one shot for. Literally hundreds of thousands of damage, one shot dies. So he had to be perfect the whole time, right? So I said, what if I build something that balances defense and offense, but it had to be perfect. So I kept tweaking it. First I had too much defense, not enough DPS, doesn't work. Too much offense, I would get one shot, two shot by bosses. I'll explain a problem with bosses that I didn't have any solution. Um, that's why I'm using this laser gun, by the way. But I still have the same problem and I know why now. Well, I'll tell you right now. So what I was using before was the gun because what's nice with the gun is uh, omnidirectional and it shoots super far, okay? So I would use Boomerang as close quarter when mobs try to uh, swarm me, right? I would use the gun and I would use Riot Shield as a defense. The problem is at one point you do so much damage because there's knockback on these uh, weapons, okay? But it's minimal. I'm not using knockback as a accessory which would increase knockback by, by a lot but even then at one point <laughs> if you have i don't know uh, something like uh, 10 bosses appearing and you hit them with the gun they get so i would like run up okay as far as possible and they would get shoved all the way throughout the map and now I'm surrounded and there's bullets everywhere and I get one shot so that's no good or one two three four shot but there's so many bullets so I had to kill them right away and <laughs> you're gonna see because we're gonna do a jump cut eventually very soon once I'm done explaining the build you're gonna see that they're gonna parachute and die in the air and absolutely get propulsed I don't even know if it's an English word anymore Propels all over the map, but dead, you know? <laughs> it's just absolutely insane. You're gonna see how crazy this is. So, um, to beat uh, this player who is pretty good, I had to find a way to stay alive. So, if I get hit, I'm okay, but I cannot just sit there and get absolutely hit because uh, I'll die. I gotta dodge things, but if I get hit once or twice or three times, I'll be okay and I gotta do a lot of damage. So I tweaked it. Using the laser gun, I thought would be good, but it doesn't matter which weapon you use. You do so much damage at one point that they will 
go all over the map no matter what so you have to basically one shot them an issue with the game right now which is still under construction as i said i call it a beta it's really being built right now is you need dimensional two items are overpowered i didn't know that the riot shield was overpowered so the riot shield is overpowered and the luck if you don't use these two items or at least luck you will lose uh, luck is exponential in fact i'm going to overflow in the sense that uh, i'm gonna reach such high levels of damage that the game will say that i do zero damage i'll show that to you in a cut uh, so it's overpowered it needs to be nerfed same for the shield i was absolutely immortal i could even afk they would be 80 bosses falling on my head and i will still be alive that's not normal and you can't use anything else if you use anything else it takes away those exponential items let's say i add damage okay damage is linear let's say i got 30 damage i'd rather have 30 luck because it will give me so much more damage so that's a problem but it's being addressed right now we're talking with the developer on uh, Discord to make the game better and explaining that uh, the game is too you need dimensional it will be fixed once they nerf lock and the shield it will be possible to make all sorts of builds but not reach wave 1000 like I did and in fact I could have stayed there as long as I wanted and I died on purpose because I had things to do my wrist was hurting so let's, um, this is my build right now, as you can see. So what I'm doing, uh, I'm just um, a little more dice than Riot Shields. And I play it by ear. If I get hit a little too much, then I'll get more shields. Uh, if I don't do quite enough damage to my satisfaction, maybe I'll get more dice. I used to use um, Increase XP. That was nice but uh, maybe it would work too but uh, i i got rid of it i ran out of space because the laser gun takes four squares in the loadout right so i ran out of space i removed the extra xp that was not that was so much xp i would reach level 100 pretty fast okay so let's jump to the point where i had trouble before okay and i'll be back in a second It's a bit unusual because I'm editing the video as I'm doing the voiceover. Wave 110 was a problem. Look how many <laughs> boomerang. I know it's times two, but it's still crazy. And look at the damage I make. It's already high. Look how far I go up. Did you see? It was fast. You're going to see more of it. The boss was right on my right. So I learned that the solution is to stay close to them. Not necessarily let them fall on my head, although I was still alive. But maybe move. Let's say they fall and there's a little shadow. So I move just beside the shadow and my boomerang will one shot them all. I'll show you that later. But I didn't learn that right away. I would just run away. But it would cause me problems at one point and I almost died in this run. But eventually I'll become so strong. So this 110 level always was a test this is the place where i died the most trying all sorts of builds my competitor's score was uh is 151 i think yes 151 i was able to do 142 at one point i was like come on <laughs> but i was with a different build and i got one shot once again but now i got 135 shields uh, it says 100% defense, but it's rounded up, as I explained in the previous video. I'm going to try to convince the developer to do like in Perfect Hour 2, where it says by how much damage is divided. Okay, but anyways, that that's for suggestions. He can do what he wants. It's just that uh, I don't know how much defense I have. See how far I try to go. See how he... <laughs> they're all over the place. This is very dangerous. I'm not getting hit 
When they hit me, I lose one health. But the uh, propulsion or, or the ejection problem, let's call it ejection problem, um, is not going away. But at least I can survive and I seem to have a balance here where I do ton look at that how, how much damage I make. Tons of damage and I stay alive at the same time. So I have both of uh, the best scenarios. Let's watch wave 130 for the fun of it. But I run away, so I'm gonna show you one. See, I run away. See how close they are? Look how many bullets there are. How can I avoid this? I lost 10 health. <laughs> I, I find this funny because it's so crazy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna skip further ahead. I'm going to beat the um, 151 anyways, okay? But we're gonna go further ahead where I learn to get close to them. Okay? I just found the place where I almost died. Check this out. I was still running away. This is wave 169. I'm running away. And look how much I get hit. Look how many mobs there are. This this is lagging. This is times 2. Look at my health. 41, 34. I said, oh no. But I knew I was winning at least. I was beating my competitor with wave 174. But I wanted the psychological number of 200. And I almost died here. Look how much, look how much XP orbs there are. That might be my uh, thumbnail. So uh, I survived this. And uh, okay, let's move forward. So this is a good place where I started doing this recently. I'm gonna reach wave 250 and look at the damage, how long the numbers are. So they should be using scientific notation. Look at that. Everything's red. I can't see anything, but I don't need to no more. Check this out at 1 to 50. 1 to 50. At 250, I'm not gonna reach 1 to 50. I'm gonna reach 1000. So 250, and you'll see what I do now. I let them fall and I just move a little bit. Bang! They're all dead instantly. And it gets buggy. There's like a red. See that red line? It was fast. You could. We want if we want to, but there's a red line beside their health bar. Those are all bugs that are reported. Um, look at my damage. Look at the lock on the left. See on the left? The number is going outside of the box. So we're gonna jump to the point where I reach zero. The zero lock because it overflows. It's uh, called integer, integer, integer overflow. Uh, the, the game still works, doesn't crash or anything. But you see how the numbers are going up for my weapons below? Eventually I'll do so much damage to the mobs that I will also do zero damage to them eventually. It's not really zero, but the numbers for my weapons below will stop going up and they should also be neatly showed in scientific notation because it doesn't look very polished right now look at this number i'm pointing to it because i know how ridiculous it is and it's in the 400s of luck that happens so let's jump to that here very soon our luck will reach zero with the overflow so take a look on the left at the number it's completely ridiculous of course Next time I pick up a crate, look on the left, you see 65, and once I reach one zero zero zero, it will reach zero right now, bang, see? So it just overflowed. I'm not gonna show it to you for the mobs at the moment it happens, but it will happen to the mobs as well. What I wanna show you is AFK mode. I will just AFK at one point, just leave the game running and let something like i don't know how many at one point uh, maybe 70 bosses falling on my head and i will barely get hit okay let's check this out so in this cut i'm just not gonna move and let the mobs fall on my head the bosses that's 58 of them let's see the effect at wave 59 so that would be 59 of them 590 sorry for the wave then after that we'll go towards the end of the run 
my uh, laser is shooting super far, but I think the gun would be just better now. Too late. <laughs> I'll wait for an update to do another run. Okay, let's look at that. I'm not moving, okay? <laughs> I got hit a little bit. It's not that bad. I lost 14 health. This is just absolutely insane. So I was testing that because I said, okay, I'm going to minimize the game and go with my business. And in fact, I even edited the video. That's why there will be no sound later. Because uh, Vegas, my uh, video editor, for some reason, games lose sound sometimes so uh, towards the end of the video there will be no sound but as you can see i don't even move no more i'm not touching anything and then when the truck comes now i pick up the crates i don't even care about xp anymore because uh, i'm level 100 and i don't have the boost for xp okay so are we gonna reach 610 maybe? I'm not sure when the truck comes. Let's see if we reach 610. If not, we're gonna jump towards the end of the run. <laughs> it lags a little bit, it's not too bad though. Nothing compared to when I got 100,000 kills in the very original version where it would be like one FPS. Much better now. Oh uh, no, the truck's coming. Okay, so let's go towards the end. This is wave 610. I'm going to uh, go in the 900s and we'll see the end where I decided to start. I wanted the psychological number of 1000. So this is where I'm about to let myself die. I'll let you watch. Uh, I made my point, I think. Uh, the game does need work, but uh, it has so much potential. Let's see what the next patch brings. There will be more levels and all sorts of things. And uh, I'm looking forward to do more insane runs like this. So as we finish this, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching. I'm about to say see you next time. Look at that. Bang! Now I get eliminated and the run's over. Alright. See you next time.